we are taking a look at a student's project here and um, we're just going to go into the right view here and you can see how um, the student has created two um, pieces of topography which um, for this case probably isn't the best way to go but there are definitely cases of where you will have multiple topographies um, and one of those cases is actually when you have an existing and new condition um, we'll probably get into we're definitely going to get into phasing a little bit later in in this course but over here on the right you can see um, the different phases new new construction so you can technically um, if you were to talk about an existing topography and a new topography you could set the existing topography to ex or the that part to existing and then um, and um, that could be a condition where you have two topographies but regardless um, the first thing I would do if, if this condition happens and, and you have a p pathway leading up the door is I would just go ahead and create a, a second split face for this this second part so um, I'm gonna go into the site for a second so you can see where this I don't know if I can, can't really use the align tool there, so you're just going to have to eyeball going on top there. And so that's how, and then just click the check mark there. And so really, that's how I would do that, but there shouldn't be a reason for this case where you need two topographies. So um, just like the video did, I'm just going to delete those topographies and we're going to, I'm going to go up, zoom up just a little bit here. Um, so we're going to create a circle around the building using the zero, zero elevation. And I'm just going to place points like you saw there. The next one we're going to do is negative, I'm going to make this a little more drastic. In the video it shows negative one, we're going to make it negative two. So we can really see the topography. So we're just going to create another circle all the way around. And then we're going to create a third ring and we're going to make this negative four just again so we can see the steps in the topography a little bit more. Um, these rings aren't incredibly important but the rings have to do with um, contour levels and to find how you change where those rings show up, you actually click this little arrow in the Massing and Sight tab. And right now, the increment is set of one foot. And so you can change that. Um, and there is also contour line displayed, additional contours. So there's a major contour line every 10 foot and then there's a minor contour line every um, foot basically that's how it works out but um, I believe when you go to the site view one of the site view is only showing that too um, I think if we set this at one foot it will show up with all the rings there we go so now you can see all the different rings we had so we have the one two three four five because we we started at zero and we went down to four feet so this outer ring is actually not a ring so you have the negative four negative three negative two sorry zero negative one negative two negative three and then this bottom part is negative four so yeah there's and then the last part of this video is to create a split surface uh, we're just going to select this surface and then we're going to do a rectangle from the door. Uh, 
And like in the video, we're just going to change the material of this to um, to asphalt. That's fault pigment. Well, that concludes this short tutorial on how to fix topography and um, and do split regions. Let me know if you have any other questions. You can message me, um, or if you're taking the class right now, please email me, and I would be happy to answer your questions with a YouTube video.